Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Medieval Dynasty and we're going to be doing the ultimate hunting guide. So this is going to show you the locations of all the animals and what's the best way to get them and all that jazz. So just to start off with some basic information as to hunting, there are various areas all over the map uh, where certain animals will always be spawning. Now mind you, it's not the exact spot, so I can't tell you right next to this tree here that will always be a bison. But the general area, when you go there, there will be animals there and they seem to respawn as soon as you leave the area like you get a certain distance away and you come back they're there again so it's not a uh it's not a seasonal thing you can hunt them very very consistently so basically when you're hunting there's a few things to keep in mind so the first thing to keep in mind is going to be your skills and i did a video talking about all the most important skills but basically uh the one that you're really going to want to get nice and early on is tracker because it's going to highlight animals for you in your in your field of view they're going to pop up and suddenly you're going to actually be able to see them so that one is very useful and it will highlight your prey animals as green and any animals that will attack you as red the second thing to keep in mind is weapons and now basically your spears are going to be your best weapons for most scenarios and you can use any weapon to hunt any animal but i break it down into basically two groups you have the real small animals like foxes and rabbits and sometimes deer that i prefer to use a bow for and obviously the best bow you can use is going to be your recurve bow and you're going to want to pair that with iron arrows the reason i prefer a bow over a crossbow for this is reload time it's much easier to miss these animals and sometimes with a fox you won't even kill it in one shot even with a crossbow so you're going to need to take another shot if you've got a crossbow that fox is going to get away by the time you take a shot at it uh, so for these smaller ones we're going to want to use a bow so let's just jump right into it with rabbits. And so rabbits are going to be located on, uh, basically I'll show you two halves. This side of it, this side of the map for the north, you can see that there's several locations here, each one circled in red. And then for the south side of the map, uh, you can see that there's again going to be several more. And this is going to be again general locations, but if you go here and if you've got the skill that helps you highlight, you should be able to spot the rabbits relatively easily. So as you can see, we're right here, located by one of my favorite spots to hunt rabbits, because it's one of the only spots where that's all there is there. So this whole circle here, I, it's, it's on the map, it was just drawn as a little circle, but basically anything around here. So once you're here, you kind of just, once you've got the skill unlocked, you just pop into this and look around until you see a rabbit. And so once you've uh, spotted some rabbits, you can sneak by holding the uh, left control button. And I like to stay highlighted and then pop out just to see, make sure I'm not looking at one through a tree. And if you're sneaking up on them, rabbits are pretty easy to take out with the bow. So we might be able to get two. See, look at that, we got two. So uh, then you just need a knife. You skin your rabbit, you get one fur and one meat. So they're not going to be a very good one for resource, but they're relatively easy to hunt. And, I mean, obviously, if you want fur or meat, it's one way to go. Another thing to keep in mind with rabbits is you can actually craft traps for them. So if you go into here and traps, you can plant rabbit traps. You just need ten sticks for them. You put those up and you can use them four or five times to catch rabbits. It's another way to go. So that is rabbits. Let's move on. All right, and so the next animal we're going to be doing is foxes. And as you can see, I'll show you here on the map again. There are going to be just a whole bunch of spots here you can go. In the in the north section of the map, uh, we've got five spots highlighted here. So you can see there's a, a pretty good cluster in the uh, Denica, Gustovia, Borovo area. Kind of that big circle there. And then if we go to the south side of the map, we've got another four. We've got this one over by Gustovia again. But then these other ones down in the mountains scattered around. So there's quite a few areas where you can actually pretty easily... Uh, locate foxes so with all that being said this is another one that you're going to want to use a bow for because they're nice and small so you can see we're we're located right here by Denica it's one of my favorite spots to hunt them this is also a spot where rabbits show up so it, you can go here and get both of them but uh you can see that we've already located one right here again we're going to be there's another one over there there's two rabbits but you know target acquired over here so this is another one you're going to want to use a bow for so i just like to sneak up on them so with the foxes like i said sometimes you won't kill them in one shot if you shoot them in the body so i like to try to get them in the head or the neck and see there we've got it down so if there's any other ones in the area we can look but there's not so for the fox we'll skin it and you're going to walk away with two fur and two meat. So it's about twice as useful as the rabbit to hunt because you're going to get more fur and more meat each time. And like I said, lots of locations on the map to get foxes. There are no fox traps. Um, and like I said, foxes are one of those ones that sometimes they'll attack you, especially if you've wounded them. So if you shoot one in the butt, sometimes it'll come after you. Sometimes it'll run away. I, I don't know exactly what dictates that. 
But that's foxes. Let's move on to the next. All right, and so the next thing you're going to be hunting is does, and they're one of the types of deer. And so, if you look here at the north side of the map, you have uh, four pretty good spots. And now, mind you, with deer, there's differences between them, but for the does and the bucks, you can find a lot of them at the same locations. So here's the locations we have on the north side of the map for does. And here's the ones on the south side of the map for does. Now, like I said, you'll find bucks at these locations as well, but these ones are ones where uh, the does are a little bit more prominent, or sometimes there will only be one buck, or sometimes there won't be any. But they do seem to follow each other around. So that's where you can find does on the map. And so does are one that I actually also enjoy using the bow for. And the reason I say that is because if you headshot a doe, you kill it in one shot. So this is one that we're going to want to highlight them. Again, they're green, so they're prey, so they will run away if you spook them or if you uh, miss them. So what you want to do is you kind of want to try to enjoy, uh, approach from the back corner here. If you see their head come up, it's better to stop and wait because their head will go back down again. And once their head goes back down, you know that they're not going to spook. You're going to want to approach relatively slowly until you've got a nice, close, easy shot. Draw back, aim slightly above, headshot. And you can take them down in one shot like that if you use either a long bow, recurve bow, and iron arrows. Or even if you use uh, a regular bow, you can kill them in one shot with a headshot if you hit them nice like that. So, you skin them, you're going to need a knife. And there, from them, you get three leather and four meat. So instead of getting fur like with the fox and the rabbits, you actually get leather from deer. And so uh, this is where you start getting into a pretty good way to get food and leather. So that's how I like to hunt does. Again, like I said, you could use any weapon you want, but I like to do it with the bows like that. Crossbow works pretty well with the do does as well, uh, if you're accurate. Because again, you go for that headshot, you kill them in one shot, you don't have to worry about follow-ups. But if you miss, they will run away. So that's does, let's move on to bucks. So for bucks, this is where we start getting into what I like to use spears for. Because even with a good headshot with a bow, sometimes you'll kill bucks, especially if you can get them like directly from behind and shoot them like at the base of their skull. That seems to kill them in one shot with an iron arrow, especially if you're using a recurve or a longbow or a crossbow. But most times it will not kill them in one shot. And a lot of times I've even had arrows bounce off of them. Like it'll damage them or whatever, but the arrow won't even stick. So they won't continue to get wounded. So I like to use a spear and just go for a broadside shot. Uh, it usually won't kill them in one hit, but every once in a while it will, and at the very least it kills them pretty quickly. They'll run around a little bit and either die or it slows them way down so you can just go finish them off. So, when we're looking at the map, here at the, the north side you can see these locations. Again, you'll find those at these ones as well. I just want to clarify that. But these ones you're usually going to find at least one buck, usually more. Sometimes up to three or four in one of these locations. And then here's the south side of the map. So at any of these locations, these are going to be where you're going to be able to hunt the most. So if you're trying to level up hunting, deer is one of the best way to go. Because if you go to an area, you can find somewhere between 5 and 10 deer. Which is going to be more than any other animal type. Now, prey aren't the best way to level up because they'll run away from you. And bucks are just like the does. They will run away from you even if you wound them or if you miss them and they notice. So since they're skittish, this is another one you're going to want to sneak with. And again... All you do is you highlight, and you hunt them the same basic way that you hunt does. You're going to want to try to get into a quarter away from them, so they're not looking directly at you. And you approach nice and slowly. Because while their head's up, that means they're cautious. And the bucks are going to be even more skittish than the does. So the reason I like to use the spear, and like I said, I don't go for the headshot, because you will kill them in one shot if you headshot them with a spear. But it's also much harder to hit. So I like to just go for a broad shot. Get them right in the bread basket. Sometimes you'll get lucky and spine them and you'll kill them in one shot like that. There's another one over there. You can try to do long distance shots with a spear like this, but you got to aim significantly above. Oh, I aimed a little bit too significantly above. But anyway, that is a dead buck. So we're going to skin that bad boy up and find out what we're going to get. And so for them, we get three leather and five meat. So slightly more meat than the dough. Uh, same amount of leather, which makes sense. So that is deer. So we now on does and bucks. Let's move on. All right, and so the next animal we're going to want to be hunting is going to be boars. And now boars are the first ones that are going to show up red when you highlight them in your map. And that's not because they're a predator, but it will it's because they will attack you. So these are a good one. Uh, if you get close, they're not going to run away, but you're going to want to be able to defend yourself slash kill them. So these ones you can hunt with a bow, especially if you've got one of the higher levels of iron arrows because you pop them in the head and they will die. But I prefer spears for a couple reasons. One, they will attack you. So if they get up too close to be throwing and you're getting mauled to death, you can stab with a spear. And also you can one shot them in the head or any of the more vital areas with the iron spear, which is what I like to use. Stone spears work really well too. I also do very high damage. So you're very safe hunting against these ones. So if we look on the map, uh, here for the north section, 
you have quite a few locations as you can see so boars are there are a lot of them in this map so this is the north section uh you don't really have to go far to hunt for them but if you go up and up north of the reservoir system there's going to be a lot of them all around uh basically they cluster in groups of three or four so if you go to any of these areas you're going to be able to get about that many and boars are a good way to hunt so that's the north section and uh, down here we have the south section again, very similar to the other one. There's quite a few of them. They're, you know, they're not hard to find. And all of these are again going to have three or four boars at them depending on the day. It doesn't seem to be consistent. I tried finding out which ones have more. Uh, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's four. Sometimes I ha I've had five show up, so it just depends. But with the boars, uh, we're going to take a similar approach. Uh, we don't want to get mauled. And generally speaking, when you kill one, they all like to cluster together. So when you kill one, the other one's... Uh, will tend to attack you. So you're just going to want to get close enough that you can hit them. You're going to want to aim and fire. See? One down. So that's how you kill a boar. Let's just watch. Okay, the other one's over there. There's probably another one over this hill. But you're going to need a knife to skin them, obviously. And then from the boar, we get two leather and four meat. So it's going to be uh, less leather than the doe, but the same amount of meat. So that's how you do boars. Let's move on to the next animal. All right, and so the next animal we have to hunt is the bison, and this is going to be another one that'll show up red on your map, much like the boar, but it's not a predator. Uh, they will really only attack you if you get too close to them, and they get skittish, and then they'll buck you, or if you try to kill them. Uh, bison are another one that, again, you could hunt with a bow. Uh, you can one-shot kill them in the head with a crossbow, but I definitely prefer the spears with them. Because if you're using iron or a stone spear, you can kill them in one shot in the head or two shots on the body. Uh, but also you've got that defensive capability of stabbing. So if we go into the map... You can see for the north section here, uh, there's three. Now, the main thing about this is these are more of a southern animal because they seem to like the forested, rocky areas of the south part of this map. So across the reservoir system, there's only these two spots. There's one over by Borovo and then one over in the middle just uh, south of Branica. And, or Bra Branca, you know, those two cities that are named very close, very similar. Uh, and then down by this little lake here. So then if we, so so it's not very many. Again, these are going to be clusters of two, sometimes three. I don't usually see more than three. I don't think I ever have. And the thing about the bison is they're a little bit wider roaming than most of the animals. So you go to these areas, you're probably going to find them right about here, but sometimes they kind of wander around. So you got to look around, but they're relatively easy to find. Then if we look at the south side of the map, if we look at the south side of the map, you can see there's quite a few more. So we've got two over here by Hornica, by this lake, then one over here by this little lake in the middle up by the mountain sort of area. Another one way on the other side of the big lake by uh, Jenica, I think is how you say that name. And then another one just, uh, just north of there along that river. And then that same one by the little lake up in the middle. So quite a few areas to find them. So like I said, these ones are one that I like to hunt with the spear. And they do highlight red because they are dangerous. But basically, they're pretty easy to hunt because their heads are so massive. So if you just get close enough that you can pop a spear in their head, you know, down they go. Like I said, stone or iron spear will one-shot them in the head. Wooden spear will two-shot them in the head. Most of the bows are going to two-shot them in the head with iron arrows. In fact, I, I think longbow and recurve bow will. A uh, regular bow with iron arrows will take three, I think, in the head. Uh, so, like I said, it's better to go with spears because even a wooden spear, two of them popped in the head kills them. Uh, iron or stone spears are much better, but that's bison. So now let's move on to the next animal. And so the next animal we're going to be hunting is wolves. And these are one that I hunt with basically anything because even though they're dangerous, they uh, are pretty easy to kill, especially if you can hit them in the head. So most bows with iron arrows and a crossbow with iron bolts will kill them in one shot if you shoot them in the head. As far as spears go, a lot of those are also going to one shot them in the head because wolves aren't all that tough. So if we go into the map, Wolves are one of those ones that there's a lot of them. I think there might be more wolf hunting spots than there are anything else in the game. So you can see, looking at the north part of the map, we've got uh, four of them once you get north of the reservoir system, and another five of them in this middle part just south of the reservoir system. And any of these are going to be good. And you can find somewhere between three and sometimes six wolves in either of these areas because they like to obviously travel in packs. Wolves are another fun one to hunt because not only will they attack you instead of running away, so they're easier to actually take down, but they will kill other animals. So sometimes you'll find them with a deer carcass, and that way you can get your deer right away. Only thing that I've seen kill wolves is bison. If they attack a bison, a bison will maul a wolf to death, and usually the bison's going to win. So yeah, that's the north part of the map. And then for the south part of the map, you can see I've got these the same ones highlighted in the middle there, but we've got another four spots down here scattered around the mountains, four or five spots down here where you're going to be able to find them. So they're real easy to find. 
So even though you can hunt them with anything, I still like using the spear for them. Uh, and you don't need to sneak up on them because they'll come after you, but sometimes it's a better idea to be sneaky because uh, you never know how many wolves there are in an area. So I can see one here, but I think I see another one over there. Or that could be a rock, but it's hard to tell. But so basically, just sneak up on them. And if you're using a spear, it's easy because you can hit them basically anywhere and kill them in one shot. So, I mean, we'll test out that theory. See? One shot to the body. Takes them down pretty easy. Makes the dog sound. It's real fun and everything. So we're going to skin them. We're going to need a knife, obviously. And we're going to walk away with three fur and three meat. So this one's going to give you more meat and more fur than a fox. No leather, though. So you can see there's another one up there. Generally speaking, they'll be about that far spaced out. You'll see one over there. There's probably someone up here, maybe one up on top of one of these hills. But that's about how the, uh, how the wolves like to congregate. And you can see we have a dead buck here that he got. So we can take that too. So that's the wolves. Let's move on to the last animal that we're going to be hunting today. All right, and so the final animal we're going to be hunting here is what's widely considered to be the most dangerous animal on the map, and that is going to be the bears. And I think it's widely considered to be that because it's true. Bears are super dangerous. Uh, so these ones are one that I definitely prefer using the spear for. If you use a crossbow or a high-level bow with iron arrows or bolts, uh, and you, you're able to put them in the chest or the head, you can kill it in a couple shots. Uh, it's pretty dangerous, though. They will maul you to death relatively quickly. So I definitely prefer to use higher-level spears. You can take them out with wooden spears, but just make sure you've got enough of them. So if we go into the map... You can see in this north part, there's really only two spots, and you got to be way up north. And sometimes this one up in the uh, top right corner here is uh, pretty hard to find. Like, I've gone to it a bunch of times, looked for bears there, and not really found any. Uh, but sometimes they are there. And then this other spot over by the hills is more re is, uh, more consistent, but there's only two up here. Then if we go to the south side of the map, there are four spots that are pretty easy, pretty consistent to find one. And the best one I like is the bottom right corner here because sometimes you'll get two. So if you're looking for bears, this is a good spot to go. Uh, only thing to note is bears are often located by the opening of mines. And so I found that if you build a mine at that opening uh, of the cave there, uh, sometimes the bears stop spawning there. It seems relatively consistent, especially if you've got like an extra house up there and you put a settler up there to work the mine. Uh, the bears don't seem to show up as much. I don't know if that's because the settler's killing them or it just automatically spawns them away so the bears aren't killing your settlers. I don't know. But that's one thing to keep in mind. So if you're looking for bears, if you've got a mine there, sometimes that won't be a good spot to go. So like I said, with these ones, they're going to be kind of the same as before. You can hunt. You can see there's two right here. I'm at that bottom spot that I told you about. There's one up there, one here. Usually the best way to hunt bears, to spot them, because they, they roam around quite a bit, is to climb to the top of a mountain and then look down and around. And usually you can spot them from a decent distance off. Um, but here, I was lucky enough to actually spot them while I was coming up by the river. So we're going to want to aim, and headshots are going to be the best, like they are with everything. So we, if you shoot with an iron spear, and you headshot them, you can take them down in one shot. However, I'm just going to show you just for reference, it's not that easy if you go for body shots. But if you're careful, you don't panic, and you've got good spears, you can take them down relatively easy. So we're going to skin the bad boy. Again, you're going to need a knife. And you're going to walk away with five fur, five leather, and ten meat. Making them just a really great animal to hunt, whether you're going for leather, fur, or just trying to get food, or leveling up your XP. So that's bears. So that's the last one. I know there are decent amounts of missions tied to hunting bears. And I know I've seen a lot of comments, people asking me to show where to find bears. So that is all of the animals. You now know what to hunt them with. What's the best techniques? Hey, there's a third bear there. <laughs> That's fun. Um, and where to find them. So that's going to end today's hunting guide. I hope now you can go and expertly hunt all the animals out there. Make sure you don't die doing it. Make sure, you know, you can always have enough food, fur, and leather. Uh, but that's all we're doing for today. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, I'd like to hear them down in the comments section. But otherwise, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.